From filmmakers Greg and Colin Strauss comes the 2007 science fiction action horror film that once again pits two of cinema's most iconic extraterrestrial species against each other in an epic battle for survival. The film follows the aftermath of 2004's Alien vs. Predator and features an alien-predator hybrid that wreaks havoc on a small American town, leading to a showdown between the deadly creatures and a group of human survivors. With a mix of practical and digital effects, the film sets out to deliver a thrilling cinematic experience that satisfies fans of both franchises. But does it deliver on its promise? Let's take a look at Aliens vs. Predator Requiem. <laughs> The Strauss brothers attempted to pitch an idea for the initial Alien vs. Predator movie to Fox Studios, but were unsuccessful. After the success of the first AVP film that did eventually get made, mixed with a combination of Fox's need to find a directing team for its sequel, as well as the Strauss brothers' expertise in visual effects, the sibling duo were eventually hired to direct the sequel to Alien vs. Predator, with a very limited time to start filming that same fall. The movie's original title was Alien vs. Predator Survival of the Fittest, but it was eventually dropped in favor of Requiem, shortened to AVPR for short. The mid-2000s were a very weird time for movie titles. Filming for Alien vs. Predator Requiem began on September 23, 2006 in Vancouver, British Columbia, Canada for a 52-day schedule and with a budget of approximately $40 million. The filmmakers aimed to create a more brutal and intense film with a darker tone than its predecessor. The special effects and practical effects were a major focus of the production here, with its extensive use of creature effects, animatronics, and prosthetics to bring the titular monsters to life. The cast of 2007's Aliens vs. Predator Requiem includes Stephen Pasquale as Dallas Howard, a returning veteran who becomes the de facto leader of a group of survivors in the small town of Gunnison, Colorado, Rico Allsworth as Kelly O'Brien, a local sheriff who teams up with Dallas to fight the alien and predator threat, John Ortiz as Sheriff Eddie Morales, Kelly's predecessor who becomes a key player in the fight against the extraterrestrial invaders, and Johnny Lewis as Ricky, a rebellious teenager who gets caught up in the chaos of the alien and predator battles. The film also features veteran actor Robert Joy as Colonel Stevens, a commander of the military sent to cover up the alien and predator incident, and Tom Woodruff Jr. and Ian White as the titular aliens and predators, respectively. Speaking of Tom Woodruff Jr., ADI also returned to do the creature effects in this film, and as always, they did do a great job with their contributions. After the events of Alien vs. Predator, the chestburster that emerged from Scar's body, the same predator who defeated the alien queen, has matured into an adult Predalien, a creature directly lifted from the pages of the AVP comic books, mind you. Soon thereafter, the Predator scout ship crashes in Gunnison County's forest, where a local man named Buddy Benson and his son Sam are hunting. They witness the crash but soon find themselves implanted with alien embryos by facehuggers, along with some homeless individuals living in the sewers nearby. Meanwhile, another predator lands on Earth, seeking to eliminate any evidence of their presence and, of course, hunting down the aliens. Caught in the middle of the conflict between the two lethal extraterrestrial creatures, the townspeople find themselves in a battle for survival, and how can they possibly save themselves and stop what's going on in their town if they can't even get along and work together themselves? I am really not a fan of this movie, and although I realize that it has this weird cult following that's been growing over the last decade and a half, for whatever reason, I still just can't get behind the film. Requiem suffers from some extremely poor lighting, making it hard to really see what's going on on screen, and the action is almost impossible to follow due to how murky the damn visuals are. The character development on display in this movie is incredibly lacking as well. Not that this was ever a strong suit of the first AVP, but with the characters so poorly developed here, I have little to no investment in these people whatsoever. The plot was yet another thing about AVPR that was just dismal. It was thin, 
uninteresting, and nothing like the broad and incredibly rich atmosphere and story arcs on display within the titular comic books these films were supposed to be loosely based on. I mean, what the hell were they thinking? The only thing I sort of enjoyed about the film, and I am using the word enjoyed very loosely here, is the credulous violence, which in and of itself is nothing mind-bending or revolutionary here, but at least there's some kind of light in the midst of such a darkly mediocre crossover movie. To me, Requiem is gargantuanly disappointing, and although I wasn't expecting all that much after the 2004 film and how that turned out, I never would have guessed this film would be as generic as it was. I mean, how the hell did we get from the comic books and video games of the same name, which were so epic and violent and rich with story, to this? How? Even Brian Tyler's score left little to be desired. I mean, what is up with these AVP movies? I will give this movie credit, though. It does make the 2004 film look like a goddamn masterpiece by comparison. These jackasses deserve to be nuked at the end of the movie. With that said, just to put a bow on this, I don't like the setting, I don't like the cinematography or the visuals, I don't like the human cast. My god, do I absolutely not like the humans in this movie. I don't like the pacing, I don't like the weird behavior of the xenomorphs, I don't really have an opinion on the score one way or the other. I mean, I don't want to say I hate the movie, because there are a lot of movies I fucking hate. And this doesn't give me that hate feeling when I watch it or think about it. But I'll be damned if this disappointing wave of generic nonsense this film presents doesn't pull you down into a deep depression when you realize that this is where both franchises had ended up by this point in time. Absolutely depressing. ADI, of course, did what they could with the creature effects. That much could be said. The designs all look great here, per usual. And I like the aliens' visual aesthetic used on the xenomorphs this time around, the first time we've seen the rigid heads since the 1986 film. I sort of like the violence, as previously stated, and I kind of enjoyed Wolf, our new resident hunter in this movie, but beyond that, zip, nada, nothing. With all of that said, the 2007 sequel to 2004's AVP, Aliens vs. Predator Requiem, while not the worst thing I've ever seen, is morbidly mediocre.